Frank, either you're planning to give me the brush off, <laughs> or we're going to talk about painting, which is... Well, we're going to talk about the paint applicators. Paint applicators, not yeah. paint brushes. Yeah, you know, a lot of people, they want to paint the interior of their home, mm -hmm. or even the exterior. And, you know, some people say, I'm going to use a brush. Some people say, I'm using roller. Some people say they're going to use pads. So I just want to show you when it's advantageous to use which type. Oh. Uh, you know, like here, here I have an example of a wall in your home. This mm -hmm. represents the wall, this represents the ceiling, and this represents the return wall. Uh, it, okay, so normally ceilings in homes are painted white. Okay. So let's say a person wants to paint their wall yellow. And so they say, you know what, I'm going to go get a roller. I want to paint everything with a roller because it's fast. Mm -hmm. So, sure. Now, when you go to your home center to buy rollers, they come in smooth surface, semi, or rough surface. Rough surface would be like hollow tile, moss rock, things like that. We're trying to fill little right. gaps and stuff. But, but when you're dealing with drywall, you're probably going to use a smooth surface roller. Right? You, you put it on. But what happens is, as you are painting the wall, if you accidentally touch the ceiling, guess Whoa. what happens? <laughs> it looks like my house. <laughs> You're going to have yellow paint on your ceiling. Yeah. So, so they naturally, uh, they tell you you should cut in. So a person takes a paintbrush. Really cut? Yeah, this is what c cutting means. You would first go all along the top, maybe two inches, oh, and okay. all oh, along the side. you physically cut anything. It's, it's, it's a cutting term. In, cutting in. Okay. And, and you would cut in the ends with a paintbrush. Then you would use the roller and you would stop two inches from the ceiling. Okay. So you would not, you know, score. Or, or Which means ruin. alcohol cannot be involved. <laughs> Correct. But, you know, a lot of times is, you know, people have a 10-foot ceiling. Yeah, now, to get up there with a paintbrush, you got to get up on a ladder. It becomes mm -hmm. unsafe. So today, they've come out with paint pads. Paint? Now, paint pads, where you can actually put a handle, you know, so. And, and, yeah. and this saves you the time of cutting in. So I just want to show you. Here, here I have some paint in this pan. Oh, real paint? Yeah, it's like a tan color paint. Okay. And a tan color. Can, can you apply a little on my face here? I've been staying in too much. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can catch this. Okay. But what I'm going to do is see, you can go right up to the ceiling. Oh, look at that. Without cutting in. And then you can just slide it right down. Uh huh. And you can make a nice painted surface. Look at that. Okay. Without effect. And then they also have special types that you can use for corners. So, well, you know, they have the smaller one where you yeah. can you can. If you're in the, an apartment, right? <laughs> <laughs> they have they have pads that have wheels on one side. Wheels? Yeah. Why would so, you show well, me how do you do that? Well, again, if if you put it the paint on the pad, yeah, and then you're gonna run it right when the wheel touches the wall, it prevents it from going onto the other wall. Oh, I see. see. And then it's and then across the ceiling. And you, you can do the top the same yeah. way. That one actually is better than that yeah. other one. Yeah. Well, the other one would be more for exterior, yeah, doing yeah. big surfaces. So pad, pads are, saves you a lot of time. It, uh, it, it goes on easy. How long have these different types of, I'll call them brushes, been available? Well, maybe, maybe around five years. Five years. But, but they're constantly changing them, uh, making the, the pads more absorbable. They hold a lot of paint mm -hmm. where you don't have to be constantly no, the reason Going I'm asking back and is a lot of people don't paint their house every five years That's or a correct. room. So correct. check for the new innovations. <laughs> correct. And of course, you can also buy paint guides. You know, in other words, when you're mm -hmm. painting, you, you know, so if, if I'm using even if a paintbrush and I don't want to get paint on the other side, this is sort of like... Oh, so oh, it's like a, uh, like instead of putting tape. Right. Instead of using masking tape. Yeah. It'll help. And then you can wipe it off with, okay. a, with a... So these are good to use too. So you can see, um, painting a room is not difficult if you have the right applicator. And when you're not using it, you, you can shave. <laughs> That's true. So look, if you're planning to do some painting, educate yourself to the new stuff that's out Correct. there. Correct. Right. Wow. Can I, can I take all this off? No, 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 no. <laughs> ah, this close. Thank you, Frank. Okay.